Uh, today we are going to look at how to add another faculty member, librarian, tutor, another BC employee to your D2L course shell. I'm just making this a little bigger so we can see it here. Um, how to add someone to your D2L course shell in order to give them access to the content that may be in that course shell. Um, there are different roles that people can be enrolled as and what role you give them will determine what type of access they will have to the course. There, of course, is one instructor per class. You cannot add someone else as an instructor, and only the instructor has access to the grade book and grading of assignments. Um, you can also have a teaching assistant. This is someone who may come in and may assist you, but they cannot do anything with grades. You can have an instructional aide. This is also someone that can come in and view content, maybe post a few things um, like uh, comments to students or replies to discussion boards, but they also do not have any grading access. There are librarians that can come in and be assigned um, to help students with writing papers or tutoring, those sorts of things. And then finally, you can have someone come in as a reviewer if you are developing a course for uh, your discipline, you may want to ask one of your colleagues to be to come and review your course. You can enroll them as a reviewer. They can't make any changes or add or delete or anything, but they do they do have the ability to go through and see all of your content. So there are multiple roles that people can play in your course shell if you want to invite them in. Uh, so as a faculty member, you do have the ability to add people to your course shell in these various roles. You cannot, however, add students. Students can only be added through administration and registration. So I'm going to go to uh, my little sandbox here, this little training area that we set up so that we can have uh, students in a classroom that are, that are not real students so that we can make these recordings and work in this in here without violating any FERPA. So any students that you see in here are actually fake students. They are employees of the college in instructional design and CTEL that are playing the role of a student in here so we can test things out and make sure things are working. So I'm in the home page of my course shell and I want to add someone. Uh, let's say I'm going to add Dr. Ayala. She teaches with me in biology. I'm gonna add her as a teaching assistant uh, to my class. So I come over here to Tools, select the Tools drop-down menu, and at the very bottom, I select my roster. So I come to the roster, you can see there are several students in here. We have a few facilitators, uh, that sort of thing. Facilitators can add content and such. So I'm gonna come up here and I want to add a participant. So just below the roster title is a dark blue button that says add participants. So I'm gonna select add participants and select add existing users. Now I want to select a role. Um, in this drop-down menu, you can see I have four different roles available. I can, I can say student, um, that's simply because I'm a facilitator, but as an instructor, you won't have that, um, that particular ability. Uh, you can give someone instructional aid. This might be a tutor or um, somebody from the LRC that might be helping you, the, um, or the ASC. Uh, you can have a teaching assistant. This would be somebody who would have access to everything except the grading, or um, a facilitator. So I'm gonna, I want um, Dr. Ayala to have uh, some assistance in my course. So I'm gonna make her a teaching assistant. I want to make sure she is um, alerted that she's been added to the course. So I would send her an enrollment email. I searched her before to make sure that she would pop up. So I'm just gonna do an empty search here. So it, it shows up. Uh, if you do an empty search, it's just gonna show up everyone that you have access to add. I'm going to go ahead and put her name in. So her last name is Ayala. And I select search. Once I do that, I can see there are two Ayalas here at the college. So I'm going to sec select the second one. This is Dr. Ayala that I'm looking for, Ida Lisa. And all the way to the right is select role. I'm going to select her as a teaching assistant. And then I would select and hit enroll selected users. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I send her that email. Enroll selected users. She's now enrolled in the, uh, my training course as a TA, as a teaching assistant. It will send her an email, tell her that she's been enrolled in there. 
and now she's on the roster. And she is a TA in my course. If I need to unenroll and take uh, Dr. Ayala out of the course, I would select the box next to her name, and then I would select unenroll. I need to confirm that I want to unenroll her. I select yes, and she's no longer in the course. She's probably going to wonder what the, all those emails are that, that she's receiving about this class. Uh, but now she's no longer enrolled in the course. So you may have a tutor that you want to allow in for maybe a week to work with students in the course. You could put them in the course. Um, you could allow them to come in the course uh, as a uh, uh, teaching assistant or instructional aid. Uh, there are other, uh, sometimes depending on the access that you have, you may also have one that's a reviewer or a librarian. You can let them in in those cases. And this will allow them to carry out whatever duties it is they need to carry out. And then at the end of the week or month or however long time period you have for them, you can then remove them, unenroll them from the course. So that is how you enroll and unenroll someone in your course in a various uh, different capacities. Hope you find the video helpful. See you at the next one.